Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing? Hope you've been fabulous. I'm just getting everything ready. And there we have that. So, exciting time. We're going to try something new. So I have a cup turner now. Eh. So, I built it last night. It comes disassembled and you need to build it. So I built it last night and thought, well, what better time than now to um, give it a whirl. So I thought, because it's new to me, instead of doing something quite that has a long duration like resin, that I would do some alcohol ink on it um, and see how that goes first so that's what I was thinking that's what we're gonna do so all right I'm just putting my gloves on because alcohol inks you know they can leave you very green fingered if you don't be careful and sometimes they just totally take over whether you're careful or not so, gloves is the best way to go all right so what we're going to use is underneath the table and Thought we'd try a glass until it's still in its box. Um, and then I'll pull out another one just in case. Other thing you need to check is that it's not quite enough around there. So I have had runaways. So some microfiber cloths here um, to Fold into say quarters and create some extra width around here. And that is pretty awesome. There we go. One cloth did it. So what I'm going to do is also hunt down different sizes and create different ones that fit whatever I'm going to use on here. So, <clears throat> all right, hello, hello, it's baby cakes. Just got home from spending some time with your son. Nice, so I have dinner and go so. Ah, oh, and play Pokemon Go. <laughs> that is awesome. Sounds lovely. So, all right. So we're going to just have a look at how this turns right now before we do anything with it. So it looks pretty well centered. I'm okay with that. Awesome. Alright, so I'm not going to use the motor until it's completely ready to go. So first thing first, we're going to put down some 
um, homemade blending solution which was courtesy of the lovely Doris at DF Designs. Oh, hello Doris. <laughs> Doris. Doris. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, you miss him a lot. So, yeah. Doris, I am going to try this out. It's going to be amazing, I'm sure. So, Doris was lovely enough to share the mixture of isopropyl alcohol, approximately 60 mils in this container. And I ended up putting six drops, I think it was, of 100% vegetable glycerin. So, give it a nice shake, mix, and then it's ready to go. So this is what we'll put down first. Let it get a little bit tacky. Completely inspired by Doris. So I'm excited that you're here. And <clears throat> then we put the colours on. So I know we've gone for the vertical colours. So that, those ones. But now we're going to go for the horizontal ones. So let's see how that goes. So we'll start with this one. Move these out of the way because I haven't fully decided on colours yet. So maybe some suggestions could be made. What colours do you think would be lovely on a glass? If I have them, I only have the jacquard pinata colours in alcohol inks. So, alright. Turning it on now to let it run. And applying this. Okay, probably. I'm happy with halfway. But I can see if there's too much on there, it drips down because the glass goes out. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. Right. Right. Hello, hello. Hey, going. Is Grace with you? Okay. So while that's just air drying a little as it turns, how about teal? <laughs> teal. Blue violet and gold. How about we just go with that? Oh, she's here. Awesome. All right. Oh, yeah, this one's just leaked everywhere. Look. Okay. So. You might just put that one aside. So that's the, unfortunately, the teal. And I'll have to clean that up later. Ugh, yuck. So, with that unexpected blowout. Let's see. Hey, hey, Grace. How you doing, honey? Hmm. 
Good night, baby cakes. If you fall asleep, remember, no stress. I get it. Okay. So, isn't that a beautiful color, though? Alright, so the other thing I have to ask you about is the lighting. I have altered the lighting in the room. So I would love to know if it seems too dark, if it's um, if it's an improvement, any of those ideas. So let's go blue, violet, and pink. Oh, and some bright yellow. Just do colours now. You're good. How have I been? Awesome, darling. Getting stuff, weekend stuff done. I'll just let that turn around while the alcohol evaporates out of it. That's very pretty. That is the pink. Uh, Oh no, yes. I was just saying at the beginning, Doris, that I have a green a green fingernail from an alcohol ink I was attempting to do earlier. And I didn't put gloves on because I thought oh, I'll be right. Hmm. Hmm. So always oh, gloves. <laughs> oh dear. A bit of yellow. I don't know how that'll go. But I'm going to try the teal. No, the Baja Blue. The teal was the one that exploded everywhere. Whoa, that's cool. That's pretty. I think I would like to put try and put another dash of pink on the bottom. So, yeah, I always watch a replay if I fall asleep. Oh, we we appreciate that, baby cakes. That is awesome. Thank you so much. can see some of the pink with the blue violet blending mixing a little think around there so now let's put a bit of gold on and see what happens with that <laughs> awesome Follow the side that's turning in the rotation direction of the drip. Kind of create these little islands because we drip it that way. There's one more here. Oh, if I caught it in time. Fill in that space. Oh, looks like I did. How awesome. So they kind of go in a pattern up and then back down and then up. Yep, I got the gold. I don't have a silver in alcohol ink, so... There we go. 
now I'm just going to use the heat gun just lightly on low heat just to make sure it's evaporated Now, if we take that off there, we'll be able to see the colours with a white background. Which, if I grab out a photo paper, we'll be able to stick it inside there and you'll see it even better. So I've got the photo paper ready. Let's turn this off. So I'm really happy this is a good speed. Um, pleased that it's not going clunk, bang, rattle, rattle. Because, you know, that might have been my awesome handy skills. Alright, chuck some white paper in there. Let's just push this back a little and have a look there. I'm trying to turn the paper at the same time because it doesn't fully go around all the way of the glass. You can see just that bit of pink at the bottom, that darker line of the blue violet through the middle, and then that Baja blue just on top saying, here I am. And those bits of gold, those little gold islands. So, there we go, that's what it looks like without the paper. So then I would spray that with the UV archival varnish just to give the alcohol inks a bit more UV protection and then we'll come back and do either Mod Podge dishwasher actually I might try the Mod Podge dishwasher on one and resin on the other so let's let's pop in glass number two and just see, put that in there, wrap this around for that extra width again. See this is really good to test it out because the alcohol inks, you're not leaving it running for very long. And I think if I was going to do some resin, I would prefer to do my first trial of it. Um, in the morning so I can keep an eye on it throughout the day so without the photo paper love how you on clear glass thanks Doris I thought that might be pretty and I already had them and I don't have very many mugs left that I haven't already <laughs> done something with <laughs> oh dear so gorgeous right Awesome. So now let's have a look. What have I done? There we go. Just watching to see if there's a bit of a wobble or anything with that. 
I'm pretty fine to leave it where it is. That's cool. Okay, so once again, using the blending solution, homemade blending solution. And because as the alcohol section dries, it leaves behind that vegetable glycerin and it's tacky. Um, I hope I got the whole meaning of that right, Doris. So this motor turns the cup five to six times per minute, depending on the weight of the cup. So if you had a really light cup, you'd probably get the full six revolutions. But if you have something a little bit heavier, perhaps like this, you might only get the five. So yes, I did. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, so changing up the colours to something different this time, and so we've used the pink, the Baja blue, the blue violet, let's go green, it's not easy, and that is not my fault. <laughs> I had to do this, we didn't have to do it, but um, occasionally do those little things on Facebook where it says with the first initial of your name and it's got a whole list of things and you have to name something and things like that. So rainforest green, lime green and the brilliant yellow to break it up with the gold. How about that? Uh, so did one that was about um, colors colors songs songs that are song titles that are colors maybe i think it was and then so i went through the list and whatnot and somehow I ended up coming up with it's not easy being green good old Kermit the frog right okay that has had enough time so we might start with different colors different areas just see how they flow, how much they flow together. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's put a break in there. Maybe in there. Mm -hmm. I'm a little drip happy with that one. Let it do its magic and see what happens. I love how you can see the gold flecks that have separated floated out into the other colors oh, it's beautiful it's beautiful and yeah so um you're not <laughs> any ideas on the lighting you can never have too much gold <laughs> Woohoo! um Yes, what do you think about the lighting, please? Is, does it seem any different? Um, I've lowered the lights. I haven't moved them from their location, but I've lowered them. 
So if that seems okay and reduces some glare, I'm happy to leave them where they are. So. All right. I think I'll just give it that little bit of um, heat with the heat gun and see how that's gone. Lighting looks good, awesome, thank you. So I'm pretty certain that's what we've got for tonight. So throughout this video, may you have been inspired, learnt something new, or simply just relaxed while you're watching. So that's what it's all about. Okay, wow, stop. Yeah. Silver is better. <laughs> Uh, you and your silver. I actually like both gold and silver together. So, can I call you? Of course I can. Won't be far away. So just letting this cool down. It's fine. So we'll turn this off. So for these short durations, um, with the alcohol ink, for example, this is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, so let's have a look at this cup now. I'll take this off. I do have some motors coming, so when I to build my own style. So let's have a look now. Let's have a look with the white background. Got the green, the darkest green at the bottom, which was the rainforest green, then the lime green, and then that sun bright yellow. Then with that gold over it. So let's take the white paper out now and see. Pretty, thank you. It's been a little bit of fun. So there we can see sort of anyway I didn't come up quite as far I don't think but yeah so inside Put my finger on that so let's pull it over and we'll have another look before we sign off so if you are enjoying this please subscribe if you haven't already uh, leave the video with a thumbs up and then leave a comment below for those watching the replay and share it with others who might also appreciate it so that's really great ways to help support us creators and artists who are here sharing what how and what we do to inspire and educate others so we just go back to that pink Baja blue and the blue violet with the gold so that is cool I'll just let's see about this you can see through oh that's a nice shot isn't it 
There we go. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So there we have it. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. A little bit of experiment fun. Um, having my first go on the cup turner. So, there we have it. You prefer the first one? I prefer, but well, I like both. I can't say I favour either. I like them both. So, all right. There we have it. You've been fabulous. Thank you. If you have to go anywhere, please take care. And on that note... Be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.